A large part of my YouTube channel has been dedicated to finding the absolute worst, heart-wrenchingly bad, cringe, unfunny TikToks I have ever seen. And it's been a great time bullying them. But what if I told you, if you look hard enough through the crevasses of all the bullshit, you actually can find entertaining things on TikTok. So I've collected fun some of the funniest screenshots from TikTok I have ever seen, and I'm gonna be going through those today. Because, you know, I, I, I do a lot of negativity on this channel, and don't get me wrong, I love that. But every now and then, it's good to just have a nice little laugh. So be sure to watch the end, because the last one I'm gonna show you is, li is literally life-changingly shocking. But before we begin, I would like to take a second to thank our sponsors over at Adam and Eve. We partnered up to give 50% off one item at checkout when you use code ORANGE. Adam and Eve has got products for guys, girls, couples, basically anyone just looking to spice up their life. They got 24-7 customer service. They got 90-day no-hassle returns. And best of all, 20% of their profits go towards the fight of HIV. So not only are you helping yourself out, but you're helping others. So again, huge thanks to Adam and Eve for sponsoring these videos. Use code ORANGE for 50% off one item at checkout, and that's at adamandeve.com. Let's continue the video. So let's begin uh, there's Stephen and he's an alcoholic and somebody commented, don't you just miss the warm embrace of alcohol? Wouldn't you just drink one last time? <laughs> and I'm going to warn you, all of the, most of these are so funny because of how horrible they are. Like this isn't even the worst I've seen. Somebody is literally trying to ruin a man's life for the troll. I respect it, but at the same time, that's something I wouldn't even go as far to do, but still kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Beef jerky is so expensive. I'm gonna just buy the meat and jerk it myself. You know, I, I, honestly, beef jerky is expensive. I have talked about this on my channel multiple times. I'm very passionate about this subject, but it is $10 for like one ounce of meat. That is not enough meat for what I'm paying for. But you know, I guess I got to do the strategy. I'll just jerk the meat myself. Um, my teacher that put us on silent lunch in fifth grade died today and he's dancing and the caption is, Rest in peace. You're silent forever now. <laughs> well, I, I, I got to respect it. You know, teachers in between, I don't know, the fourth and seventh grade are just horrible. And, uh, you know, he, he's really celebrating it here. So that's kind of funny. Um, how to drive drunk. He just he just said it. No prelude, no disclaimers. How to drive drunk. I think it, it was one of the oldest quotes of time is God sends his most hopeless pedestrians to his drunkest drivers. And I guess he's given a tutorial about that there. <sighs> Somebody commented, is he bald on purpose? This is like a two year. I know I've hated on bald people a lot in my past, but you know, I will, I will give credit when it's due. I do not hate bald babies because I don't think it's on purpose for most of them, except for Caillou. I hate Caillou. I could make a 10 minute video talking about all the reasons I fucking hate Caillou, but it's besides the point, we're going to keep moving on. I don't want to go on a Caillou tangent. Somebody said being turned on is a feminine trait. Men should constantly be thinking about war. I see no flaws with this logic. Why would you feel emotions? War. Um, then <laughs> my sister told our mom that she has an eating disorder and she bought her this outfit. Food is best friend. I mean, W mom, W mom. I, I, I mean, what else are you going to say? If you put on a shirt that says food is my best friend, I feel like that some sort of placebo effect would hop in there. And maybe, maybe, just maybe you'll fix your thing. But, uh, you know, all fun and games here. POV. Some of, these, some of these are just, like, mind-blowing. POV. You start lactating on our date. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Me at 18 with a severe SpongeBob hentai addiction. I, I, I... Some of these, I look at them, I'm like, there's no way this could be real. But then I realize that everyone between the age of 12 and 17 on TikTok completely overshares. So, you know, I, I would not be surprised, surprised if this is true. Because I don't know what it is about people getting the urge to go on the app TikTok and just divulge their most personal secrets to millions of strangers. But it is just a common phenomenon. I bet her spit tastes sweet. It's, and it, this is crazy because... So I'd say 80% of the funny things on TikTok are literally just the comments because people have no shame. What happened to shame in this world? 
People used to take pride in the things they said, but now they just hop on TikTok with a private account and say things like this. Why would you say this? I mean, he's just like me, but why would you say this? Um, the only thing that could make you cuter is if you were termini terminally ill and I'm not explaining. I, I don't, I would not know how to feel if I got that comment. I mean, you can kind of see him, like, look at this guy's face. You, you can't tell me he does not look like a, a cancer patient that's like, you know, posting stuff on TikTok being like, yo, donate to my GoFundMe. I mean, I see it, but it's still, you shouldn't say that to people. <sighs> he has no clue today is his last day with balls. It's, it's look, he, I think he does. Look at his face. He's horrified. Um, Let's call the number on missing children posters and start screaming, mommy help. This is like a variation of let's call the number on missing dog posters and just start barking. I really want to do that. Comment below if I should make a video calling lost dog numbers and just barking. It's so fucked up, but it's funny. Um, am I the only one regularly washing my pants? Yes. I mean, that's, that, that, it's fair enough. I mean, look at him. I believe it. Going on my lunch break after charging a single mother of three $141,000 for an emergency heart surgery. <laughs> He's straight up about it. Call him Travis Gokish. He, he, he being honest, you know. Um, ah. <laughs> Imagine being a doctor and you're like, yeah, I'm about to save her life and put her 200K in debt. Let's do it. Um, yeah, that's, that's an interesting screenshot. Um, who said, when my blade, when my brain keeps replaying the moment, I sent a pic of my feet covered in peanut butter to my crush and, and texted him, my toes are ready for a good licking. Where are your parents? Where is the supervision? Where is the shame? Where is the thought process before you post this? Was it worth the 10,000 likes? Because... If anybody you know sees this, your, 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 your life is over. I know you're probably joking, but it's that 10% inkling feeling that it's like, is she though? Uh, who knows? And then the last one, I, I, I could not believe my eyes when I saw this. When I made more money selling corn at 12 years old than I do at 20. You're a victim. You're a victim. You should not be talking about this. You should be talking to the 12 years old and you're a corn salesman. That is child labor. Unbelievable. I, 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 I can't believe somebody would share this on the internet that they were selling corn. But like, I, it, it's just crazy. So there you go. Those are, that's the best I could rumble up from TikTok. Some was just crit. Some was like so overboard that I had to laugh. Some was genuinely funny, but that, that's the best I could find. Um, probably not going to be making one of these videos again for like a year because it's going to take me like a year to find more funny stuff. But overall, I had a pretty fun time. Hope you did too. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Woo Goodbye. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.